Here's my uh, second hyd hydrogen generator that I built. Uh, this is uh, taking this other video because I kind of left out a few facts in the last video, so I thought I'd put another one up here. Uh, also going to demonstrate um, the difference in the gas produced uh, with different amperages and voltages on my battery charger there, which we have connected to the posts, which run down into the cell here. Um, there's about one teaspoon of um, baking soda in there, which seemed to work, work out pretty good. Uh, Temperature is about 103.5. I was using it earlier. Um, we got the bubbler here, and then I also left a mark where I filled the water up to. And total uh, usage with video and non video. I've probably been running this thing for about an hour. So, as you can see, the water level has hardly even changed, just to show how efficient this really is. And uh, here's my other container here, the bubbler, the battery charger, and the cell. Um, let's go ahead and start with 6 volts and 6 amps, and we'll see, how, see what kind of bubbles it makes. up there you can see it starting to surface there still no bubble out of the bubbler that is yet in fact it would probably be better if we started with the higher voltage and amperage just to get it out quick so oh there it goes it's a little bit there and you can see up in the uh, up in the cell here See it rising off the, the the reinforcement bar that I polished up with the uh, wheel brush. Got all that rust off there. Make better contacts. There's my thermometer, and we're still running at about 102.5, so it's cooled down a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and go up to 30 amps with six volts. I'm going to go ahead and switch it, and you can watch the difference. Not much of a difference, slightly faster, but not much noticeable. And the uh, rods are giving off a little bit more gas than they were, but not too much. Let's go ahead and go to 12 volts with 2 amps. Big difference. As you can see, it's starting to bubble a lot faster. And when it's warmed up, it really bubbles better. Uh, so there's the rods. You can see it's giving off a lot more. It's starting to fog up towards the top. There's the uh, there's the left rod producing hydrogen like crazy for the small container. And there's the right rod. There's a the bubbler. All right, let's go ahead and go to 30 amps. Big improvement. You can see this thing's really going crazy. And our temperature is already rose to 103. So there is a fair amount of heat in there. These rods are still giving off a few deposits, so the water's not the not the clearest, but we can still see. Uh, and there it is up to 103.5, so it's rising considerably fast. And it's because I got it in such a small container. And there's the bubbler. And that's pretty much it. And it stops instantly when we shut it off. Just like an on-off switch on your bubble bubbler in the fish tank. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much water these tennis ball containers hold but I do know one thing I kept track of how much uh, uh, baking soda I put in that one about one teaspoon so it doesn't take much and it goes a long time as you can see there the water level is still exactly where it was sometimes I even think it might have even rose a bit 
probably because of the temperature rising it expands a bit in there. You could watch my other video that I have and I actually take a flame and pop some of the bubbles which come up out of this tube here. But I'm already at 5 minutes and 15 seconds now, so try to keep it a little bit shorter.